Hey, launch the bomb, back at it. What is going on? What'd your workout look like this morning? Bumps in the road, nutritional plans. Uh, topic of the day is my why and commit. Well, your why, because that's what you got to figure it out. But I'm going to talk about, it's one of my favorite topics to talk about. My why and then commit, okay? So uh, hey, if you're watching live, drop a one. If you're uh, watching the replay, drop a two. If you're a first timer, who's this crazy guy, lunch with bomb anyway, drop a three down below. I'd love to uh, connect with you. And uh, you know, I started doing these a while back, you know, um, as a strength coach, you know, I've done this for 20 some years, uh, running my own gym. Uh, you know, I, uh, if I could just connect with one person, right? One person a day or even one person a year, or shoot, even, even like, just that one person, if I can make a connection with, you know, maybe it's a checkup from the neck up, a little bit of attitude adjustment, maybe it's with your workouts, maybe it's uh, with your nutrition, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it means a lot to me, you know, as a teacher and a coach and doing it for so long, you know, I, I don't know how my kids and athletes and clients and folks are going to turn out, but it's when that light bulb goes on, all right, when that light bulb goes on and they're able to grab and connect with what we're trying to do and what I'm teaching, then that's when you know it's super valuable. But there's a lot of people that they they don't commit, they don't have commitment. They might think about it, but then when the emotion's gone, you know they, there's no follow through. So I want to talk a little bit today about my why, why I do what I do, and then I want to talk about commitment, and then I want to create an action plan for you to make a success plan wherever you're going, whatever that might be. Okay, so a uh, couple of quick announcements though. You know, if you've been following some of the stuff we've been doing at MVP, uh, don't forget about our Sunday evening basketball skills training, with a bunch of ball handling and shooting, uh, 6 p.m. Dayton High School gym. We've got our baseball and softball instruction uh, going on. We've got uh, hitting lessons after school in the evenings, as well as on the weekend hitting academies. So we've got a bunch of stuff. Jump over to our website and check that out because we've got tons of stuff going on. And then our adult and athletes uh, strength and conditioning. You know, if you're looking for a new workout program and you're in the McMinnville, uh, Yamhill County area, you know, come check us out. I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, a little bit later. And then I also posted yesterday asking about, hey, if you like these Lunch with Bombs and you want a different topic or something going on, shoot me a message. I'll, I'll glad to uh, add it on. I know Robert said, uh, you know, maybe talk a little bit about uh, some HIT training that we do. Maybe uh, a couple other folks wanted a little more nutrition and uh, uh, talk on that end. So I'll keep doing that. So shoot me a message. Um, let's see, who's on here? Kylie, what's happening? Pam, nice to see you. I got my Facebook Live. I got my Insta Live. Who's over on this side? Natasha. Let's see. Tyler, what's cracking? Hola, what's happening? Let's see who else is on here. Jackson, what is up? How'd the workout look like? You know, there's always bumps in the road. Shoot, I even blew it this morning. Alarm didn't go off. So what are you going to do, right? You know, adversity is going to show itself in all different ways. It just depends on how you handle it. One of the things I always think about too is I always love these little cliche sayings. You know, you get out of it what you put into it. You know, you're only as strong as the weakest link. You know, it's stuff like that. But I love those little sayings because they're all true, as silly as they are, right? So, you know, like I mentioned, like I mentioned before, I've been, I've been doing this for 20 some years. You know, being a high school strength coach and PE teacher, like I have the best job in the world. You know, how did I end up where I'm at? You know, my why. You know, my why are my four girls, all right? I've got my Heather, I've got my Anna, I've got my Rachel, I've got my Leah. Though they 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 are why I do what I do. All right, every single day, you know, I'm gonna get up early. I go to the gym. I go to school all day. I go back to the gym. We're running the kids stuff. Everything that I do, and that's what you need to do. You need to find what your why is. All right, you gotta think about you know what's important to you, and then write things down. I've talked. Go back and watch some of my goal setting and motivation type things that I've talked about before, and how to do that stuff because. If you don't have a why, if you don't have something that drives you, uh, you know, you're 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 stuck. Why do people? Why do so many people fail in whatever they do? It's because they never commit. They don't have a driving force to keep them going. So my my why are my four girls. Everything that I do, I work hard. You know, I focus on my nutrition, my workouts, the jobs that I do. It's all because I have them. They are my driving force. You know, I want to be healthy and be a good role model to show them. You don't have to agree with me. That's a huge point. Nobody, I talk to my students all the time. A lot of my kids in the weight room, why do they fail at what they do? 
They fail because they're so worried about their girlfriend or what their girlfriend or their buddy is going to think about them that they never elevate their game. They never challenge themselves and then bring other people up with them. You know, if you're around, if you're always boohoo me and sad and negative, surround yourself with some positive people. All right. Surround yourself with people that are going to bring you up and then bring other people up with you. You know, enough of getting drugged down into the doldrums and, and you know, you just wither away, you know. So your why, you got to figure out what your why is, you know. And like I mentioned, other people don't have to agree with you, you know. You're driving force. What's the goal? Well, the goal is to keep the goal the goal, okay. You know, for me, got a couple of simple things. What's for lunch? What's the workout look like today? All right, I'm going to focus on my nutrition. I'm going to make sure I'm going to get up and move. You know, why did I start MVP? Eight years ago, well, it was about nine years ago, just sitting around having uh, dinner with friends and a friend asked, you know, hey, why don't you start your own gym? Start uh, maybe training some people. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I might do that. Start my own thing. You know, and I was training adults at the time, working at a local Gold's gym. And uh, I always looking at people like, why are people broken all the time? It made me go back and reassess the things that I do even in my, my high school strength and conditioning classes and the youth groups that I run is that we get to the age that we are right now. Remember all the crazy things that we did as kids in our training, uh, in our, all the workouts that we did, in the sports that we do, and then all of a sudden, all right, 40-something hits, and then, oh my gosh, I'm 30 pounds overweight, I got high blood pressure, high cholesterol, I can't do things that I used to be able to do, and then I just make excuses that, oh, you know, I'm just getting old, I'm too old, I don't have time, you know, and it's just craziness, right? I posted a thing, uh, no more, no more nonsense, no more, oh, I'm too tired, no more, it's too late, no more that I can't do it. You got to just say no more. Your why has to be bigger than your excuses. And then you're going to be able to push through the things that are holding you back. Because bumps in the road, even like I mentioned this morning, shoot, alarm didn't go off. I'm going to have to accept whatever the outcome is, uh, the, the consequences of the actions that I have. But I'm just going to keep moving and keep pushing forward. You know, so, you know, I started my MVP, my mission. What does MVP stand for? It's my mission, my vision, my passion. You know, it's my driving force of everything that I do and the things, the day that presents itself to me, you know. And so, the bit, then once again, I know there's other exercise programs out there. There's other, you can go to a typical big box gym, you can CrossFit, you can do stuff on your own, you know. Like I said, you don't have to agree with me, you know, but big thing here is don't make excuses. Don't make excuses why you're not having success if things that you're doing aren't working out, all right? If the gym situation that you're at is in is not working out, give me a holler, you know, we can help with that. Your nutrition stuff is not working out, give me a holler. You know, once again, you, you don't have to agree with me. But uh, if things aren't working out, come train with me at MVP. I posted up last week. We've got our MVP online. We've got our MVP actual facility you can come and train at. And then we do a bunch of distance coachings. We can do that too. But the big thing is, is, is people don't have to agree with you. That's what you got to get in your head. Write that thing down. Put it on a big sticky note and put it right in front of you. People don't have to like you and people don't have to agree with you. Love yourself. Set your goals. Your why has to be bigger than any excuse that you make. You know, uh, you know, another one people ask me like, why, why do you use the nutritionals? These are nutritionals that you use, but I, people don't have to agree with me. You know, I said, I was a three years ago. I had a, uh, I went for a routine physical, came back high blood pressure, high cholesterol. I had some internal stuff going on. I grind things out. I put in, you know, 12 to 15 hour days. Most days get up at four 15, go to the gym, drive to school, teach all day, go back to the gym. And then, you know, I'm a hundred miles now. Look at my energy that I bring. This is me all day all the time just go 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 right and so I go in and what happens is out this is the best part right is that just because you're healthy on the outside doesn't mean that things are good on the inside and so I look for a natural option you know the biggest thing for me is okay I got ask me this answer me this what is blue 40 lake or red 7 lake like any artificial ingredient. So I looked at a lot of things. You know, once again, you don't have to agree with me on this stuff. It's just I do, my why is bigger than my excuses and they're bigger than your excuses. Is the big thing is I look for a natural product that could enhance the nutrition. I, I already eat pretty good. I train like a madman and I still had some internal stuff going on. So I was looking for an option, looking for different things. I flip the label, I flip the label over and I read the labels and if it says artificial anything, I'm not doing it. You know, my simple five, right? I talk about this all the time. 
Make sure you're hydrated, eat more lean protein, eat your fruits and vegetables, avoid processed foods, and fill in the gaps where you're deficient. If you do those five things every single day and then you move and exercise every single day, you know, then you're going to be well on the way to being successful. So I look for some natural things, decrease inflammation in my life that I have, you know, and then I, I put out my 10. I talked about this the other day too. What are the 10 things you need to do every single day to be healthy, right? And then do those 10 things, doing one thing at a time until it snowballs into a successful, healthy routine that you do all the time. Once again, you don't have to agree with me. You know, you don't have to use the Jesus Accord Nutritionals that I use. You don't have to... Uh, Use the Moringa Olifera that I use. You don't have to work out at MVP that where I train and where I train my clients. But don't make excuses why you're not having success if you are doing the same things, the definition of insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over again thinking you're going to get a different result, okay? And here's why. Here's the biggest thing. Why do people fail? You know, I mentioned right at the beginning because you don't commit, all right? And there's a wide range. There's this huge range of commitment, all right, on this commitment. A commitment continuum and uh, if you've never read any of Jeff Jensen stuff you should go and, and check some of the things out because I, ha I have an idea all right and most times people when they have a great idea and all of a sudden the emotion leaves the idea maybe it's the next day maybe it's the next week you know you go into take New Year's resolution for example right people are fired up oh this is the year I'm gonna get fit right and then all of a sudden two weeks later they flushed whatever uh, goals that they have well the commitment that they have on that continuum is on one end of the continuum. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. There's there's several levels of commitment, and then you got to decide where you're at. You know, there's resistant, reluctant, existent, complacent, compliant, committed, and then compelled, right? And then there's one on the other end, that crazy person on the end that's obsessed, but we're going to just talk about the main ones in the middle. So like resistant, for example, that's the person that hasn't bought in. They're just not going to, they're not going to agree with you. They're not going to do anything. Whatever you say, they're not going to, they're just not bought in to it. Right. And so all you can do with those people is you can be nice to those people. Eric's what's up, man. How, how's it going? Mark, my man, Ingle, what's up? Who else is on here? Janet, love seeing you. I got to flip through here. Dennis, what is happening? Anyway, so on that continuum, so you have that resistant person, right? The person that's not bought in. You have the reluctant person. They're like, ah, oh, you know, I'm going to wait and see. And kind of maybe I'll watch Jenny and see what Jenny does. Or maybe I'm going to watch what Mark does. And then I'll make a decision after that. Well, shoot, even check out some of my clients that have trained with me for the last five, six, seven, eight years. You know, number one, they have a goal, they have an action plan, and they're committed to the process. And they've done it over and over and over again, and they have results. So, I mean, shoot, you can look at any one of the folks that have been with me for a while. Shoot, some look at some of the, on the nutritional end, look at some of our, our Zija uh, results. We just got done with a 90-day challenge for the new year. The people that committed, here we are again, the people that commit, those are the people that have success in what they do right so if you're if you're not having results of what you're doing commit to a plan and stick with the plan I remember even back when I first started my mom said something like oh you know don't get involved in one of those things you know you don't want to get wrapped up in that thing and here I am three years later lean mean fight machine down 30 pounds normal blood pressure normal cholesterol you know not making excuses my why is bigger than my excuse because they're my driving force right and then commit to what I'm doing so I've got the resistant person, I've got the reluctant person, now I've got that existent person, the one that just kind of goes through the motions, kind of does what they're supposed to do, you know, they have a little bit of success and then not, and then a little bit of success and not, you know, and then you have that compliant person, do what you're told. I got a lot of clients, you know, they, you finally get to the point, you finally get to the point where you're like, man, I need help. Show up at the gym. How many of you have showed up at the gym, looked around at all the equipment, and, and were like, uh, I'm just going to walk on the treadmill for 10 minutes and then I'll go home? Raise your hand if that's happened to you. Don't lie because I know it's happened to you. You go to the big box gym, you see all the, the machines, all the, all the equipment, and then you're like, uh, what do I do? It's like people that show up at MVP, they're like, where's all the equipment at? It's like, you're the equipment. I'm going to make you work. All right? And then they say, you make me you charge a lot for uh, make me do push-ups. And I said, well, you do them on your own? And they're like, well, no. I says, well, shut up and do your push-ups then, right? So we're gonna, you gotta move, all right? But that's what I'm here for. You know, if you don't know how to do something, hire a professional. So you have the resistant person, you have the reluctant person, you have the ex existent person, you have the compliant person. Now let's talk about commitment. 
All right. You have that self-motivated person, the self-motivated person that is going to write things down. They're going to set their alarm clock. They're going to create an action plan. They're going to take it one step further than everybody else will do. Okay. And they're going to make things happen. And then that transitions into the compelled person, the person that establishes what their why is. You have your why that's bigger than your excuses and you don't worry. Like I said, you don't have to agree with me. You don't have to train with me at MVP. You don't have to use the Zija Core Nutritionals that I use every single day. You don't have to have the abs that I have. You don't have to have the motivation that I have, right? You've got to create that yourself. You've got to find that yourself, okay? So you got to have that action plan, that compelling point where you decide to commit 100% all in. I'm not talking about dabbling in. You're not that compliant person or that existent person that are just going through the motions, all right? You have to commit to whatever the process is that you're doing and make things happen, all right? So I'm all about action. I'll, I always want people to leave uh, my lives and things, taking something with you. You know, you can go back and watch some of my other stuff, right? But the first thing you need to do is think about, think about what you want to accomplish. Think about what your why is. Okay. And I'm talking like, it's gotta be big. All right. I got to see my daughter run uh, in her first track meet last week. I got to see them ride their horses. Uh, we're getting ready for our first softball tournaments of the weekend. I got to see them do some crazy aerial flip in their gymnastics classes. You know, their back bends that they do. And literally it brings a tear to my eye. Every time I see them do the things that they love to do because what my wife and I provide for them. All right. And if you, you have to find that, you have to find what your why is and you need to be compelled to commit to a higher level of thinking so that you can accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. All right. So you got to think about that stuff and then you got to create an action plan. It's all about the doing. Okay. Because what happens when the emotion leaves, we fall back on the things that we feel most comfortable with and they're usually not very good. And that's why the 40 somethings like I was three years ago, 30 pounds overweight, dealing with internal health issues, making excuses about why I can't do this, that, and the other. Now I spend all my time helping other people, but I just got to a point where I like, you know what, forget it. Like I, it's time for me to focus on me. Now I still focus on my students and clients and athletes and everybody that, that I work with, but I've created a small little point of these are the things that I'm going to do every day. And I always tell myself is that if it's important to you, do it every day. If it's not important to you, don't do it. It's like brushing my teeth and putting on clean underwear and drinking my super mix every single morning, right? It's important to me, 100% committed, all in. I'm, I'm never going to skip it, okay? I do it every single day. And then what's for lunch and what's the workout look like today? Get your butt up and move. Like I mentioned, you don't have to agree with me, okay? You got to find what your why is. Think about what's important to you, create what your why is, make sure you write some goals down and then have an action plan set in place so that when barriers do come up, because they always do, life's going to throw you curveballs, alarm doesn't go off, maybe you're out to eat with friends and you got a family weekend or whatnot, you're traveling on the road to a softball tournament, whatever that might be, you got to have an action plan in place, you got to have things packed in your bag so that you're good to go, all right? And then you got to work through and then figure out how committed are you? You know, are you stuck in the resistant end or are you committed and you're on the compelled end to uh, make things happen? And like I mentioned, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, thinking you're going to get a different result. And then you know what? Tomorrow, tomorrow turns into next week and next week turns into never. So like it's Monday. I always tell my clients every day is Friday. Everybody gets excited for Friday, right? Every day is Friday. I was uh, Robert posted, uh, Molina posted this morning. He posted something about game day, baby. Every day is game day. I said, that's right. Every day is game day. And then game day is just any other day. Why do people get freaked out when it's a test day or it's Monday or it's a uh, game day? People stress out and they get worried about so many things. You got to make it your routine. If it's important to you, do it every day. All right. And be unwavering. All right. Be unwavering. Be committed. Commit to whatever you're doing. All right. And like I said, if you don't know how, ask for help. All right. Lunch with Bomb. Once again, if you appreciate what I got going on, please like it and share it and uh, message me if you got any questions with uh, or you want you got something you want to hear about uh, any of my Lunch with Bombs coming up. You know, I'm passionate about what I do. All right. Because my why is bigger than my excuse. All right. Make it yours, too. Okay. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll be back. Lunch with Bomb out.